Today I want to show you the most important tool on Adobe Illustrator, and that is the pen tool. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my file, put it on top of Illustrator, go ahead and open it up. Command plus to zoom in a little bit, hold down the space bar. All right. I'm only going to use shortcuts when using the pen tool. This is very, very, very important. Here are the three shortcuts you need to know. P for the pen tool, and you can see it highlighted over here. The next is Shift C. And Shift C is the convert tool. C for convert, that makes sense. So P for pen over here, Shift C to convert over here. And the last one is A for the light arrow tool. So let's go over again P, Shift C, A for light arrow. Let me show you what those three can do. P for pen, click here, click here, click here. That makes straight lines. That's pretty straightforward. You might see this little white area right here. That's actually the fill of this line. So if I click down here, the black part's the line. This box is the fill. I can click the slash and it makes the fill transparent. Just to show you what I mean, if I double click, I can put a red fill in there. For this activity, you don't want the fill. I'm going to just click that slash right there. Hold on space. Let's say I want to make curved lines. P for pen again, one, two, three. Now you can actually use the convert tool, shift C, and the convert tool converts this curve, I'm sorry, this point over here, this node, so it becomes a curve over here. So the convert tool converts the node, the arrow is used to modify the node. As you can see, I'm on the arrow tool now, as I spin around, This is perfectly straight. Let's say I want to do two curves but have a kink and not have a smooth, straight node right here. P for pen again, one, two, three. If your stroke ever doesn't show up, you can click on default right here. That's the default. And then get rid of the fill. All right, Shift C can convert this node and using the Shift C convert tool, I'm going to break this handle like so. So now when I use the arrow tool, this handle is independent of the other one. Click on the node. If your handles ever disappear, just click on the node with your arrow tool. And there's my handle. Let's say I totally screw up, Shift C again, click it once, and it converts back to the normal node type. So again, here's the straight node. If I convert it, this is perfectly smooth. If I want this to remain perfectly smooth, I use my arrow tool to manipulate it. If I want there to be a kink in here, I can use my convert tool to break the handles apart and then move it.